Hello everyone, welcome back to Stonehearth Me Bento. We're back in the Bentonian Vale. And we have a lot of projects going on at the moment. We're still building our bridge over here. We're still building our quays and we have started working on our water mill. And then we made a little bridge over here that I feel like I want to build soon. I did try to copy this one by the way and uh, try to put it over here. But it seemed very, very hard to place them somehow. They don't really want to drop the way that I want them to drop. So I might have to do custom ones for every bridge. So they don't want to go down to the bottom pretty much. But I think we can fix that fairly, fairly easily. We have to pretty much dig down a little bit. If we want to have a bridge that looks the same. And I kind of want to have it. I feel like that would be pretty neat to have a similar bridge over here. So what we have to do is to destroy this road. And it's good that I made it in this way. That it's only a short road. That means we can destroy this one, right? But before we do that, I'm actually going to save it. Because if I want to reuse it later, and maybe put it back there, but make it a little bit smarter, I can easily, easily do so. Then we're going to take our bridge. And we're going to see where we're going to place it. To make it a little bit easier for us. I guess it led that way as well. Let's see if the road. Yeah, it was over there as well. So we just have to redo that as well later on. But uh, what we're going to do then is to make a road in the middle. Grab the color from over here and uh, we're just going to drag it across like so. How wide do we have this road? It's four uh, blocks wide. And I guess we can do the same here. I guess we can do the same. So that means we have to dig away these blocks I think. So let's see. So something like that and it looks like we need to dig down... Um, this is one or two. I think it's just one block pretty much. Then we can drop it down. If we do it like that, then let's see. Over here we do the same. That should allow the bridge to go where we want it to go, right? Let's give my people a little bit of speed. Let's do that. And the road we saved before. Let's go inside of here and uh, we're gonna find the road. And I'm gonna take this one and drop it out here in the wilderness. And then I'm just gonna remove one of these and then we're gonna save the new one as well but perhaps make it a little bit shorter i guess we can save it like that first and let's make it a little bit shorter ah let's save it first let's do it first so i'm gonna try to put it here but i think i have to remove a few placeable objects first to put it out So there we can have that one, and uh, then we can have the same on this side, but like I said, I think we have to remove some marker stalls for this to be placeable easier. So let's undeploy a few of these, and we're also gonna be mining that. So let's ensure we have some people that are doing mining. I'm gonna remove another worker to focus on mining for a bit. So there we go, and look at our happy dragon. Mr. Turtle, I hope you're gonna grow into a big, beautiful dragon since we saved the, the dragon lineage we want to make sure that this guy grows up to be a big boy okay so they have mined it out let's see if we can uh, put the bridge and let's do that first and i will be sharing these templates later on by the way so you guys can use them i might have to rework a few of them so this is very odd why it is not sinking down it should be sinking down like this it could be perhaps because I decided to use floors instead of blocks. It could be that. But I guess we could do that bridge like that. This one's going to be a little bit lower. What we could try to do is to mine out another block. I'm not sure if that's going to help, but we can give it a try. I'm no idea why the game do this thing, but uh, that's what it is doing. Here, let's see now then. It is sort of still floating somehow. I think we're just gonna do it like this. It doesn't matter. Let's do it like this. It's still gonna be pretty good, I think. So there we go. So like I said, it's gonna be a little bit higher, this one. Might look pretty neat as well. Oh, 
It may even look better, maybe. Gotta be a nice way. So then we have to go ahead and do that. And here as well. So there we go, another beautiful bridge. And I feel like I kind of want to build this one. It's going to be fairly quick to do it. And it's going to be nicer to like, you know, run over the bridges instead of running and climbing through ladders all the time, right? But we still need to leave a few ladders around because we got to make sure we are able to go up and down correctly, right? So let's speed up my people and let's make them a little bit creative as well. There we go. And for this uh, bridge we got over here, our grand, grand, great bridge, uh, the biggest problem with this one to get done is that we have to buy a lot of things. We have to buy some uh, knight statue, we need to buy some potted fox lilies. And uh, how do we do that? With merchants. So, I'm gonna sell over a few. We have to put out some new markets all soon again. So we can place out uh, and get some more merchants, but uh, let's try for a little bit here. And uh, I guess we can sell a few things, because I usually get way too many things. We shouldn't hold on to everything, even though it's kind of fun to do some hoarding. Let's see, anyway, how are we doing with food? Yeah, we're doing pretty good with food, so we can sell a little bit of food if we want to. Basket of Parasol. This mushroom is slightly toxic when raw and can use it in cooking. So what I mostly want to look into are items that we have a ton of, like bones that we have a lot of sometimes. We have a lot of Varanid's pelts at the moment, so I'm gonna sell some of those. We don't want to have too many around. That's gonna make the game run worse as well. And we have loads of thatch, let's sell a bit of that. There we go. That should clean up our inventory a little bit. Now we have... Uh, we can have 400 more items, but you can see it is ticking up pretty quickly. Oh, look at that, guys. It looks like we've got a mega wheat feed. So golden and shiny. Can be used as a lovely feed for sheep. A lovely feed for sheep. Don't we have some sheep? Let's see, this... Oh, it is here. Mega wheat feed. The sheep love this. That should make them produce even better. That's cool. Do you guys want to name our sheep? We have four of them. I do not think we butcher any of them, so they should be surviving. Yeah, we're not butchering any of them. We're just keeping the wool for producing some clothing. Joe Boxen arrives with a vault of chests. Cold storage box. That will be kind of neat. I'm gonna buy... I guess one of them. I don't really have so much money, I'm a, but I want to try them out. Gilded Vault, the death one can store a lot of items. Might be worth selling some things so we can buy that. Okay, there we go. Now we have the Gilded Vault. And currently we're storing a lot of items in here. I wonder if these are already full. Oh, they're kind of full. So it's good that we got another storage to put out. So here we have it, the large storage vault. It is... does it look this small? Because that's a lot smaller than that one, right? But at the same time, I think it will look pretty cool. Porcelain fence is small. I guess we got some gifts from people. Might be that. And look at that, masterwork called the seasonal frost fruits. Delicious. Let's see if we get some good merchants. The thing is that I can't see anyone in my crew that can craft these fox lilies, so we have to like hope for someone to sell them. It does not seem like this person is selling them either, but they are selling some tree planters, I do enjoy those, they're beautiful. Okay, nothing in that one. So the bridges are getting built pretty pretty quickly. I'm gonna put so these can help with building again. And uh, I know one of you guys asked about how can my uh, soldiers help with building and all the mining and everything. It is a mod called uh, Swords and Plowshares. Uh, you can download it on the Steam Workshop. And I highly recommend it because this game, you know, for anyone who has played this game, you know this game doesn't run very good. It doesn't run very smoothly. 
So that means you have less people in your town, which means it's pretty good if your soldiers can help out with the important things around town. When they're not patrolling like my people are doing right now and we can just disable the job. And they can help around town with pretty much anything that a worker can do almost. So that's pretty awesome. Carolina looks like she's studying around a lot. I see this happen to people from time to time. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why, but it uh, looks like Carolina likes to study around in the house. And what we can do here as well, since at the moment I only have mining enabled for my soldiers, uh, let's enable so they can help with building. We can also have so they can help with hauling for a while, which means they can do a lot of things. But they will mostly be focused on building, and then they will do hauling, and then after that they will do mining. That's kind of how the priority seems to work most of the time. Oh, nice! Our first bridge is done. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, let's see if we can add uh, the road back again. So, it looks to be about uh, two blocks too long. Are we getting attacked by some enemies? Invaders approaching, and creatures drawn by an amberstone. A lot of enemies. But these are the Scyllas, these are really really dangerous creatures guys, really dangerous. Uh, but I, I don't think we're gonna have a problem with them, because we have such a good crew of people. And we do have some turds helping out there as well, they're shooting down arrows on the wolves there it looks like. But this guy it doesn't seem like he can die from them, that's kinda weird. They're immortal to them sorta, that's weird. Let's see if we can get them, get them to go away from there and focus on the Scylla in the back over here. We can activate some energy tonic, we can activate some enhanced strength and some enhanced courage and let's make them a little bit creative as well while we are at it and that's about it, we don't have any stam stamina tonic. Those tonics are real awesome to use in combat, real awesome. But why these aren't they damaging, that's kind of weird. Let's see, where do we have our clerics? Are they running down in the water? And let's get them all to kind of meet up somewhere. Because clerics doing that stuff can be dangerous. I do think that Jonathan just had a drink, so he regained a lot of health over there. Uh, but I have no idea what you clerics are doing. Great job, great idea to climb around on ladders. <laughs> but I like climbing ladders, Banto. Seems like we're doing kind of fine even without the clerics. The power of uh, awesome healing uh, tonics. Look, the clerics hasn't even arrived yet. There they are coming. I mean, they could have run on the bridge instead, right? And later on, we're gonna make this pretty powerful when we're gonna put out some turds on. I'm kind of thinking of some pillars to put them on them. Then maybe when I need to reload them, I will just add a ladder to them. Or, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because I want it to look pretty cool at the same time as not having like lines up to the bridge and stuff to ruin uh, how it looks pretty much. Oh, looks like we got an adventure coming out here. Who is this? It's Patches Keymed. Welcome to our town. Another idea I had recently was to perhaps make a windmill at the farm area, and I kind of think that I might want to move away our chickens from here. And instead I will have like a windmill next to our harbor quay area over here. I think it might look pretty cool to have it here, and maybe it would make sense with the water that it would be a little bit windy here, because there are not so many trees protecting from the wind. Or we would do it over here and redesign this area, but I feel like I want to do it over here later on. So I'm gonna look for some inspirations and do a windmill maybe in the next episode. That would be fun to do. And let's see if our garden, I want to level them up. So we have to put out the gardener's workbench. We can have that one over here by the farm. I feel like that's the best area to have it. Travel summary, that, what did we get? Sunflower from Joseph. Eileen got us a Gipple Cauldron, and then we got some from Cat Patches, so we got a wooden supply cask. Thank you, thank you. So let's get the, that. Ooh! Ooh! Did I buy this one? Where did I get this from? from? I guess that was a gift, was it? That's a pretty cool chest. I think that's for the goblins. Pretty sure it is. But that's a pretty cool one. 
I'm gonna drop this one. Hmm. Maybe inside our inn would be kinda cool to have it. Maybe at the bottom in here, we have a good spot for it, but it might be pretty crowded up, so... Um, hmm. Maybe up here on the top. Or at the bottom. We don't have so many things in this room, it seems. So let's have a little chest sitting here. For some good, good storage. And here we have the gardener's workbench. So let's go ahead and drop that outside on the farm. Where we're doing all the green work, pretty much. So I really wish I could use these for creating these potted fox lilies. I think you may be able to do that with maybe one of the kingdoms, but it doesn't seem to be with ascendancy at least. So back to the road here. I did not get a view of what we needed to do. I think I needed to do like yeah, two blocks short or something like that. Yeah, looks to be around two blocks. So then we just go ahead to do this. And uh, we remove that. And then we take this one. And uh, then we remove this one. Let's remove both. And then we we'll save it again. And I guess we could do them to look exactly the same. So we're going to take the same one. And then we're going to rotate it around like so. And that should kind of make them the same length. So then we can build these again, so we can get around a little bit quicker again. And this one, what are we missing? So we stone rabbit. So let's see for our mason. Looks like our mason is quite busy. We're gonna cancel the bag out golem to take a long time to do. I'm also gonna cancel those for now and... Um, we're missing lumps of coal. And how do we get lumps of coal? If I remember correctly, you just get it from mining coal. You get it sometimes. And we can see if we can perhaps make those with normal coal as well. Does not seem so, so... Let's see, where did we have some coal? Here we have some. So if we use the X-ray, we can see that we have coal over here. So we can mine a little bit of that out. And we can also use a slicer to look through. Might be a little bit better sometimes when mining. I mostly use the slicer, it feels a little bit better because you can see what's going on after that, so you can keep digging and preparing. Ooh, that's a lot of coal. That's gonna be a lot of lump of coal. So now they're building that. Hmm, I wonder what I want to have in this area later. I haven't decided that. But it could even be a market that would be in this area, that would be kind of cool. I'm actually going to put them out here temporarily for now, but I might actually have them as a market here later on. So then we can have like a bunch of market stalls sitting around. And we can have them sitting like this only, or we can have some sitting like this this way as well. And maybe that could be fun to make it look a slightly different. And then we take one of these as well. And just like as a temporarily thing, we can take and make a tiny little simple dirt road in between here for now. And maybe it will lead down to the quays and up to the normal road as well. But like I said, temporarily thing. Not something we're gonna keep. But we might do something similar later. We shall see later on. So then we're gonna do a little bit of texturing. It'll make it look a bit better in my opinion. So let's do that. Something like that. We can even add a little bit of brighter one if we want to. But it might be looking a bit too much. So something like that should be fairly good. And I guess we could have... A small path that leads in between these. And it might even look better if I do it this way, actually. 
The problem is if they're gonna play this now, it might be a little bit troublesome. So I think I'm gonna cancel them again. Then first we're gonna build this. That's like a temporary area. And I guess we can may as well go ahead and do it like that. To connect it in between. And then we can build it. So there we go. But I'm gonna make a little bit of research on the fox lily because that's gonna make taking so long to do some things if we're gonna wait for that. So the quiz, what's going on here? We're missing a, a lot of things. Some fox lilies here as well. And a few other decorations, but I think we should be fine. Let's see if we have any wood. I've been running out of wood quite a lot lately. We do have a good amount of wood, it seems. And let's see here, reinforced wooden door. It seems like a few things wasn't queued up as well. I'm pretty sure I saw some robust doors was needed. But I couldn't see them in the queue. So let's make some of that. And let's see if there was anything else. Table for one. It looks like we got one now though. And a few windows. I don't know why the game does this sometimes. It seems like it doesn't queue up everything always. Kinda weird. Let's see for the wee stone rabbits. Are they queued up? Looks like they are. I'm gonna cancel these. So we're not gonna keep doing those. And now we get some lumps of coal. So that's awesome. Uh, but guys, this is gonna be it for today with Stoneheart. So let me know guys if you want uh, to see me build a windmill. And let me know as well where you think I should place it. I'm kind of leaning towards this area. But at the same time guys, wouldn't it be kind of fun to maybe use a geomancer and create terrain like this and have a windmill that is like raised up with terrain? It could even be sitting in the back here or we can create a terrain in the water here and raise it up and put the windmill over there and then remove the bushes to make a nice path leading up to the windmill. Let me know guys what you think about that today and I uh, hope you guys are having a great summer even though it's really hot, at least in Sweden it's super hot. And today I'm paddling in a kayak, it was really awesome, I'm getting my own kayak the next week most likely so it's gonna be a lot of fun. But guys, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys soon soon again. So thanks for watching and have a great great awesome amazing day. And, oh, this guy's almost already dead. Awesome. But guys, thanks for watching, and see you guys soon, soon again. Take care, everybody.